When you place your hands on your knees, the second finger is at the root of the thumb and three fingers together. Second finger is at the root of the thumb and three fingers together. And close your eyes and stop making all movements. Absolute silence. Stillness of body. Then only mental stillness. Do not move the body. Keep the mind open. Concentration does not begin. Let any thought come in your mind. Let Anything happen to the mind, keep your mind open to any kind of experience, whether it is sleep or a negative thought. of the body, or remembrance of anything of the past, do not concentrate on anything. completely relaxed and mind open to any experience. Concentrate on the whole body. The whole body and become aware of the absolute stillness. And be conscious of your stillness. Every night when you go to sleep, you become still, but you do not know. You are not a witness to that stillness because you become unconscious. Here, you have to become a witness. I'm 
motionless and I know it. Constant awareness of the stillness. Feeling of stillness. That is Shanti. No movement and I know. The whole body is quiet. And motionless. And I am a witness to this state of the body. Even if you are in urgent need of making physical movement, please do not. Concentrate on your natural breath with keen attention. The breath enters into the nostrils through both and they unite at the top and the eyebrow center like the top of a triangle. This is the picture of the breath that rushes in and comes out. Keep on listening to me, but more than that, concentrate on your breath and maintain your awareness within the nostrils and create a picture of the triangle even as the two lines of the triangle made at the top so the breath from the right and the breath from the left go up and unite in the eyebrow center and come down and come out. Concentrate on the breath. Conscious breathing. Do not breathe unconsciously. Do not breathe unconsciously. Practice conscious breathing. And Count carefully in and out is one. Conscious breathing and conscious counting. and add your own mantra to the ingoing and outgoing breath. The breath and the mantra become one. The breath and the mantra become one. 
with every breath that goes in and with every breath that goes out, the consciousness becomes quieter and more quieter. Intensify your awareness of mantra and the breath. And if you find that awareness of breath in between the navel and the throat would be more comfortable and penetrating, you may try that also. Create a path between the navel and the throat between the navel and the throat a psychic passage and between the passage climb up and come down with the help of the breath, ascending breath and descending breath. When you inhale, it is ascending. When you exhale, it is descending. And with ascending and with descending, of the breath and consciousness become aware of the mantra also. If you have a mantra, it is all right or else with the ascending breath become aware of the sound so and with the descending breath, become aware of the sound hum. So, hum. The ascending consciousness is so and descending consciousness Hum. The breath is natural. Keep on concentrating. Intensify your awareness more and more. So hum. So hum. So hum. This is the complete circuit of your consciousness. Maintain unbroken awareness of Soham awareness for some time with intense awareness and withdraw your mind and fuse it in Soham awareness. Remain aware of the passage ascending and descending and the breath and the mantra soham. Practice this with keen attention. of the breath should be intense, then only 
your breath will automatically become longer and deeper. The normal breath will automatically get stretched. You don't have to do it. It happens by itself. But the only condition is that you have to be intensely aware of the breathing process with the awareness of soham. Do not stretch your breath. Intense awareness of breath will gradually make the breath longer and longer and go on uninterrupted for some time. Concentrate on the breath as before, but start the circuit from the throat to the navel, and then navel to the throat. First, exhalation, then inhalation. First, descending, then ascending. Descending breath is hum, and the ascending breath is so, and now the circuit is hum, so. No difference except that in the beginning your awareness started with ascending and in this second circuit your awareness is starting from descending. There you started with so and ended with hum, here you start with hum and end with so. There you started with inhalation and here you start with exhalation. From throat down to the navel, hum. And navel to the throat, so. Unbroken chain of the awareness of hum so, hum so. And go on uninterrupted by merging your mind in the awareness of Hamsa, which is moving on the rhythm of your breath. And the more you are aware of the breath, the more it gets longer and longer, and hum becomes longer, and so becomes longer. Go uninterrupted.
concentrate on the eyebrow center. Focus your attention on your eyebrow center. Concentrate on your eyebrow center. And listen, what you have to do, I tell you the whole thing and then you try by yourself. First, concentrate on the eyebrow center and then discover a pulsating rhythm. And if a pulse is beating, and when you have discovered that, then synchronize your mantra and if there is no mantra then soham or om om is the best om the rhythmic movement of the mantra of the pulse beat according to the speed you have to move either slow or faster om 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 or it could be om 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 but the speed of om should depend on the speed of the pulse beat, on the beat of the nerve and the eyebrow center. And go on. Do not worry about any thought that happens to occur in your mind during this period. Let thoughts come and go. Let Thoughts come and go, you don't have to worry anything about them except awareness of the eyebrow center and the rhythm and the mantra on the rhythm absolutely timed like a clock as moves on tick 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 om om. Om, 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 Om. Slower or faster according to the movement of the nerve and go on for some time uninterrupted. Do not sleep, do not drift. A little more of concentration. Bring your mind, withdraw it all the sights. From everywhere withdraw your mind. Only for a short while bring your complete attention to the eyebrow center and the mantra. Concentrate on Muladhar. Muladhar, the first and the most important psychic center. Situated in the perineum cossack. which is in between the excretory and urinary system. If you concentrate on the perineum, not from outside, but as if you are concentrating on that part from inside, Concentrate on Muladhar, please. It is one of the most 
important centers about which I'm going to give you some basic and fundamental idea. In between the excretory and urinary organs, the area of perineum is the seat of awareness. Become aware of that part from inside, not from outside. Concentrate on that muladha. And if you hold your concentration on that point from inside, the contraction takes place without your wanting it and without your trying for it. But concentration should be practiced from inside as if you are in the body and from inside the body you are looking at the muladha which is based at the bottom in the interior of the perineum. Concentrate on muladha position of Muladha. Now next important center in yoga is the center of Ajna. Please maintain total awareness. Go to your forehead from inside. Visualize and see the inner, inner wall of your forehead as if you are inside your brain and looking at the forehead from inside. Then visualize the right side of the wall, right temple from inside. Inner side of the left temple Side from inside. The roof on the head from inside, the ceiling. And you know the roof is not flat. It is as you see it always. Then the floor on the level of the eyes. And this is the room which is known as the home of consciousness, the heaven of consciousness, Chidakash, the space of intelligence. Again, Concentrate and become aware of the inner wall of forehead, right temple from inside, inside of the left temple, back side from inside, the room from inside and the floor and the dense powerful atmosphere of this room. Again, front 
right side, left, behind, roof, floor, and the atmosphere in this heavenly room. Again, front, from inside, right, inside, left, inside, Behind, inside, roof, inside, floor, and the atmosphere of this heavenly room. Become aware of the floor of this room. The floor again. And at the end of the room in the back side, if you become aware of the floor, then go at the rear of the room, the back side of the room, and there you find a small, opening to the underground, a opening to the underground as if at the rear, at the end of the room, in the center of course, at the end of the room, in a small home, there's a small opening which opens downward and that opening is now the object of your concentration. Let me explain it once again. When you become aware of the floor, go at the end of the floor behind. And at the end of the floor in the center, Become aware of a small opening which opens underground. This opening is the subject of your concentration. Opening behind the room. Become aware of this opening and you will become aware of Ajna Chakra, one of the greatest centers in the most powerful centers of yoga. I use the word opening or the door of a spinal cavity. This is the door which opens into a spinal cavity. This opening is opening into spinal cavity. Become aware of this opening. Uninterrupted awareness of this opening is uninterrupted awareness of Ajna Chakra. Go on for some time.
the two great centers have been already indicated. The basic center is Muladhar. And another important and vital center is Ajna. By concentrating on the inner part of the perineum, you concentrate on Muladhar and get it contracted and operating. By concentrating on the heavenly room for some time, and then by concentrating on the rearmost opening only, you become aware of the great center, Ajna Chakra. Psychic breathing is to be practiced between the two centers, from Muladhar to Ajna. And how do you do it? A very simple system. You are aware of the opening, all right. Now, it is from this opening to breathe out and come down through the spinal cavity. This is the opening and this is the cavity. Now through the opening, the breath has to rush through the cavity, down, down, as much down as possible, up to Muladha. And then from Muladha, the breath is brought up through the cavity, up, up, up to the opening, exhalation, downward descending, inhalation, upward ascending. Start from Agnya, start from the opening and you'll find it easier and the sound is peculiar. It is like blowing the breath into this cavity through the upper opening, blowing in, out. When you blow down, you are exhaling to Muladha. And when you are sucking in, you are inhaling up to Agnya. So from the top, you push the breath down like and from Muladha, you suck the breath up. Go on uninterrupted for some time, please. Awareness of opening, blowing the breath. Awareness of Muladha, sucking in. Continue this uninterrupted.
on with me without any movement. And when you chant on, I can give you one important hint. Instead of concentrating on the mouth, which is the physical medium of the chanting of the word Aum, you should concentrate on the eyebrow center and feel as if the eyebrow center is the medium of expression of the sound. Try to behold the sound in eyebrow center instead of in the mouth, as if the eyebrow center has a mouth and lips. And this is how you can produce the sound on anywhere in any part of the body, in the navel, in the heart, in the throat, in the brain, or anywhere. But now for the time being, this time, produce on in eyebrow center with me. Uh. Hari Om Tat Sat.